Okay, once again, welcome our the second trainer for today, Alan Yo. Give by your time. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Alan Yo from Big Academy. So I'm a social media marketing trainer and a consultant. And today we'll have to share about uh, how to plan and design a blueprint for your Facebook advertising uh, campaign. To make sorry, it... sorry, sorry. That means you're that means you're getting another one too. Oh. Okay, you okay. Ah, well, <laughs> All right, hi. Good morning, everyone. Again, so uh, a little bit technical error with the sound. So uh, I'm Alan uh, from Big Academy. So we are specialized in social media marketing and uh, training as well. So today we'd like to share a topic which is uh, about how to design a profitable Facebook ads campaign. I believe this one is the most important in every business because we need to use social media marketing okay, to increase our sales volume and our turnover and our re revenue right so uh definitely facebook advertising is one of the most important tools for us to use it and uh, reach out more people all right and convert people into sales okay so basically uh, this is the blueprint on uh, how do we help our customer uh, to plan promote their product and service and reach out many people and convert them into customer so uh, basically, if you manage to do it right way, and uh, you will be able to scale up the budget, all right, to reach out more people. For example, uh, if 100 ringgit, you can get 1,000 sales, then you scale up to 1,000 ringgit, actually you can get 10,000 sales already. Okay, basically, this is the uh, marketing process that you're going to design. Okay, so uh, thanks everyone uh, to make your attendance today in this uh, charity learning festival. And uh, most important, we thanks to all our sponsor and the organizer, uh, especially uh, DCOM, okay, uh, to host this meaningful event. Okay, it's my pleasure and my honor to share with you and teach all of you about how to utilize social media marketing and make it profitable. Okay, so uh, let me share my slides right now. Okay, so. Okay, good morning. Good morning, Kadui. Hi, good morning, our OC Ken Lim. All right. Okay, so very good. Okay. And uh, this topic, actually, of course, uh, you can uh, remark down. You want to record a video, uh, you want to take up a pen and paper, record everything, take photo, also can, no problem. Okay. Uh, most important is uh, you able to get the most benefits from it. All right. So, wait, uh, let me see. I think the screen. Make some adjustment, is it? Okay, wait, hold on. Uh, okay. All right, uh, a quick introduction. Uh, myself actually is Alan. So I'm a social media marketing consultant. And uh, we are in this online business and e-commerce experience for 11 years already. Okay, uh, thanks for the technical team for the adjustment. Very good. Very nice interface right now. Okay, so I'm also a nine years uh, marketing consultant. Uh, right now, we are serving more than 300 plus company and uh, also certified trainer uh, by Malaysia HRDF. So also honorary speaker for university and college. So also active in uh, organizations like GCI, BNI. Okay, also won some of the business awards and uh, individual awards as well. Okay, so uh, this is a quick portfolio about myself and my company. Uh, this is my training uh, agency. So it's called Big Academy. Yeah, we are doing online and offline uh, marketing uh, marketing academy, okay, to teach people all around the world uh, how to use social media marketing and improve their company performance, right? And uh, below there, you can see uh, this is our portfolio, uh, our customer, uh, our partners, okay, and uh, how we help them, all right? So let us go into the important part, which is uh, basically uh, we are providing one-stop solutions like training, marketing, and technical support. Okay, so these are the results you can do it, all right? And uh, I'm not going to just show you the results. I'm going to share with you how you're able to do it, yeah? How you're able to do it. Okay, so these are the results on if you're using Google, right? Actually, you can uh, manage to get a branded company give you the results, give you the uh, sales okay another thing is like in uh, Malaysia I think uh, travel industry actually have a very big impact from this COVID-19 so uh, we are helping them to to targeting a uh, Chuti Chuti Malaysia 
which is uh, to help them to get more customer sales, okay, to target people who want to travel within Malaysia. And uh, this is one of the results you can see is for a few hotel, right, in the island. So uh, you can see the results right now is up to date is uh, reached out 500,000 people, yeah, 500,000 people, okay. So another things is uh, Produa, all right, we also helping them to do uh, advertising campaign in uh, Alostar. So this is the one of the campaign that's been managed to do it uh, within a month is uh, 1,600 likes and 800 plus comment. Okay, with this single advertising campaign, if you manage to do it right, actually you can scale up and then you can multiply your sales volume already. That's the most simple way. But the important thing, you have to know how to design the marketing process and how to optimize the marketing process okay and next is convert into sales all right so today we'll be teach you how do you going to design it okay so uh, please help us like and share the post today i hope this video this tutorial this training can be benefits a lot of people and help most of the people if you are going to start a business you are a startup uh you are a business owner or you are a marketing manager and so on i guarantee this one hour you will be learn something and you can apply into your own business okay so please help us like and share okay to reach out more people and help more people all right so if you want to get these results be get ready i'm going to share with you how i'm going to do it okay step by step okay so first you need to prepare the content and this content is the strategies to capture your target audience okay so uh, it's very important because at the first first place in the uh, digital marketing right you need to know uh planning your content first okay a series of content to help you to reach out your customer all right so what kind of content all right basically you need to understand uh when you moving your company into digital marketing so this is the journey all right this is the journey okay you need to separate three stage for your customer base yeah three stage okay let us see uh you see the graph right actually on the left hand side is the number of people and on the bottom there is the intention to buy so this is the graph that showing that how is your conversion rate when you're doing digital marketing or you advertise in uh, facebook advertising or advertise in uh, google instagram and so on so on the early stage what you need to do is you need to let people learning your brand for example you need to create some brand awareness you need to do some branding to let people know and understand uh, your company is doing what. Okay, for example, uh, ABC Furniture Shop. So this furniture shop, they never try any social media advertising. Uh, they never do a social media marketing at all. They just a new brand in social media. I understand even though you have, have a lot of a uh, branch or maybe just one outlet or two outlet. Okay, but please be reminded that in social media, in digital world, it's a different thing. You have to target a different type of customer base okay so in this early stage yeah in this early stage uh you have to do the content that is to let people learning about your brand okay basically let people know about uh what you're doing what is your products what is your industry what is your positions okay uh, your mission your visions and so on your, your your business location and so on okay that is the things you need to do at the first stage basically we call it you need to create a first impressions okay the first impressions to let people know who are you all right and the next second stage you need to prepare the content that is let people start to contact you pm you or comment to your posting or maybe message you whatsapp you okay to asking you about your products okay which is the people who are considering buying your products that's the content you need to prepare okay at this stage you don't expect people going to buy it unless you're doing a very crazy promotions, convert them into sales, okay? If you're not going to do it, then you have to wait for it because you need to create a content that's to make it people consider whether I should buy your products or not. Basically, this stage, right, which is uh, most people facing in Facebook marketing, they get many people comments to the posting, uh, many people call them, many people asking for the quotations, but it's hard for them to convert into sales. Why? Because it's still lack of confidence and trust. Basically, in this middle stage, is the start of you doing and create create the uh, elements of trust with this group of customer. Yeah. So you don't expect on closing sales. And next stage will be the late stage. 
with the customer who are ready to buy your products okay the customer who are ready to buy your products okay so on this late stage basically you need to have more interactions communications follow ups with your customer okay with the people who consider to buy your products before you have to uh, put some efforts to follow up this group of customer and that's how we convert them into sales and don't worry actually your advertising spending you need to focusing in the early stage and middle stage on the late stage basically i need you to get database already once you get a database from middle stage right so at the late stage what you need to do is you need to go to follow up you need to contact the customer send them some of the informations uh, the new things or the new files okay so that they will consider and place order and make payment uh, make payment and place order okay so that's how we create the stage within uh, in a social media especially in facebook advertising okay so uh, this is the graph you have to follow uh, to helping you to understand uh, how to convert your advertising costing into revenue all right so once you manage to design this marketing process basically it will be take up about three months to one year to be honest three months to one year all right but once you get ready with a correct pathway and uh, we call the marketing process right so you don't worry actually you can scale up your advertising costing and then you will be see uh, there will be much more profits okay from your advertising campaign already so you will see your profit will be going up okay that's the most beautiful part in facebook advertising and the social media advertising because every single cent that you invest right actually you can scale up huh? you can scale up okay after a time yeah all right for example like just now i mentioned that 100 ringgit maybe you can get about 1000 cents so if you continue to invest 1000 ringgit so probably actually you can get 10000 cents already okay so when you successfully to create a a profitable advertising advertising campaign okay there's other thing you need to do okay you you have to continue to uh, create more advertising campaign that is making your business profitable in Facebook and Instagram. Okay, that's the thing you need to continue it. All right. Besides that, you need to design remarketing plan. Okay, to remarketing back the people who uh, after they buy your products, uh, what is the next product you want to buy? Uh, you you want to sell? Okay. Uh, that's we call product sequence. Okay. Uh, after you doing the profitable campaign all right the next thing remember you need to do remarketing plus a product sequence okay product sequence then you can be remarketing to your group of the customer who after they made a payment they receive the product they're happy then you can start upsell them all right so uh regarding the branding strategies which is the stage the early stage okay which is how the people going to learning your brand okay uh we have six strategies that is uh, can helping you to uh, do your branding strategies to capture your target audience okay so uh, this is the six strategies so if you are ready to learn these six strategies please comment six let me see okay then i will be continue to teach you about the six social media branding strategies okay comment number six in the comment box all right let me see okay so i'm going to share you uh, with you the six strategies that how do we going to do a facebook advertising campaign uh, with these branding strategies so that in the early stage you could get more people to learning about your brand all right so comment six thank you thank you yvonne all right thanks king wa okay uh thanks everyone actually we got a few pages also sharing this page thanks a lot for all the page all right okay very good so the first strategy is actually you can find the right influencers to connect with your brand okay uh, you have to plan uh, plan a success uh, plan a campaign uh, basically it's an online event for example coming up we got christmas right so in this christmas campaign actually you can find an influencer a suitable influencer that's related to your own industry okay so uh, because with this influencer uh, they have a group of people that is targeted fans for your business uh, let me share with you one of uh, one of the case study uh, one of our customer actually their property agency so this property agency they want to selling a, a condominium a new project is worth about seven hundred thousand in sunway so what they do right uh they connect with the influencer this influencer actually is always sharing and talking about investment so property actually is an investment right so they collaborate with this influencer and this influencer sharing about the property investment at the end of the 
uh, sharing. Uh, he is promoting this Sunway projects and uh, why you need to buy this Sunway project and uh, why it's worth to invest this 700,000 ringgit and uh, what is your value and how much you can gain from this project. All right. From this sharing, actually, we total generate two leads only. Two leads. Yes, just two leads. All right. And the costing pay for the influencer is 5,000 ringgit. But the good news is we managed to close one deal, which is the 50% sales conversions. Okay. So it's very important for you to find a suitable influencer. Okay. Connect with them and then plan a campaign. So that's how you convert the leads into sales. Okay. For your information, the commission for that project is 20,000 ringgit. So 20,000 minus 5,000, you still profit 15,000 commissions. All right. So that's the power of influencers. All right. So another thing, okay. Thanks, Jin. Thanks, uh, Chong, and thanks, Jimmy. Okay. Thanks, Lui. So the second thing is uh, consistent messaging. Okay. Uh, just now I mentioned, right, at the second stage, the middle stage, which is when you start to get people contact you, message you. So you need to save their that, that database. It's very important. Uh, you can save their database in the messenger, in email, and WhatsApp. All right. So after you save it, then you have to consistently message the customer. All right. Uh, always remember, don't hard sell. Okay. If you hard sell, people will block you. People will re report you or they unsubscribe your email or your messenger. So what you need to do is you need to care your customer. You need to talk, talk with your customer. Okay. For example, after uh, they asking you about the, maybe you are selling a post system or software. So after they uh, get the quotations or the price from you, basically the customer will be disappear, right? Uh, they will not, uh, they will not ask you more questions from you already because they are survey the pricing and uh, looking for a uh, cheaper price or maybe the most suitable software for your, for their business. So what you need to do is uh, after a while, right? Maybe one week or two weeks, you can ask the customer, Hey, how are you? Do you manage to get the solutions for your uh, software problem? Or another thing is uh, if you, if you want to send a wishing, okay, uh, like Christmas or New Year, you can send a message to the customer, lah, all right? And then I ask them, hey, how are you? How is the business going on? Yeah, you have to be friend with this group of customer, okay? You need to invest time because at the front stage, actually you convert them into a database already, okay? At the early stage and the middle stage, you invest advertising costing. On the third stage, which is the ending of the stage, is you need to do consistent message uh, to this group of database. Don't worry because... It's zero cost already. What you need to invest is your time and your efforts to befriend and gain the trust and confidence from this group of customer. All right. So this is the second stage. Uh, the second branding strategies you need to do consistent messaging. So coming up, we got Christmas, we got New Year. All right. So uh, please uh, utilize this festival. It's a very good timing for you to be friends to those people, ask the price, and then they never place order. All right. So the third branding strategy is signature style, okay? Always be consistent, create your content with a signature, uh, signature contact info, signature uh, keywords for the hashtag and so on. So in your posting, uh, prepare the write-up, okay, with the contact and slogan. Besides that, you also can hashtag the keywords, yeah? You can hashtag the keywords, okay? So uh, hashtag keywords for every posting, in Facebook and Instagram, maximum is 30 keywords. You can you can hashtag 30 keywords, up to 30 keywords, okay? So uh, please ut utilize this one. It's a free marketing for you to improve your organic traffic. For information, I have one student, uh, she's doing MC. So she always do the posting in Instagram by hashtag, maximum 30 hashtag. So all the hashtag is related to MC, uh, event planner, event planning, uh, KL event, Penang event, and so on. She successfully to get three cases from Instagram. Just utilize hashtag keywords, okay? So uh, remember, all right, when you prepare your content, okay, add in the signature style of your contact slogans and keywords, right? It will be help you to increase your uh, organic traffic. And number four, posting must be regularly, okay? Uh, my formula, actually, basically, averagely, Every day, just one posting is enough ready, okay? Uh, if you don't have time, you don't have uh, so much content to share with people, you can just maintain every week two posting. It's also more than enough, all right? It's more than enough. Uh, I got my reasons why, because Facebook actually, they 
they won't give you so many uh, organic traffic. Okay, they want you to pay for it. Yeah, they want you to pay for it. So uh, it's no point for you to every day do about three to four posting. It's no point for it. Okay, uh, you need to focus on the efforts convert into the higher return on investment. It's very important. Time, people, uh, and uh, your resources. Everything is about costing. Everything is money. Don't waste the effort to the wrong thing. Okay. So the post regularly, uh, maybe every day just one posting or every week two posting is enough already. Yeah. Focus on deliver a good content to people. So you need to do a gang and engage posting with the posting that can get people like, comment, or share. Okay. And uh, it's helping you to uh, get more followers to like your page. Okay. Right here. Uh, uh, new updates and information to all of you. Okay, you can download these applications. It's Facebook Business Suite. Okay, Facebook Business Suite is allow you uh to to do posting uh parity okay with Facebook and Instagram together. Yeah. So uh, what you need to do is just just download and then you just log in your account and you just connect your Facebook page with your Instagram account. So you do. A single posting right it will be appear in facebook and instagram okay all right let me see uh jimmy and jump the gum straight what we sell selling into okay wait uh, i read a comment uh. should i be speaking to customer into what problem they face yes 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 jimmy you're right you should understand your customer problem first be a listener be a listener and then you uh you provide the solutions. Uh, we don't call with upsell or hard sell. We, we suggest them a solutions. Okay, so you understand the problem from your customer. You'll be a good listener. Afterwards, you provide a good solutions. All right, thanks. Thanks, Wednesday. And Alice, what will be the recommended day for the two days in week posting? I would recommend if you want to get higher traffic, right? Uh, actually, every night also have high traffic. In social media, uh, the best is the night time. There's, there's no differentiate between the day. So I think it's still fine. Just, just find your, your suitable time to do the posting. I, I mean the day, okay, suitable day. But you can choose night time will be easier. It uh, will be better because most people online at the night time. All right. So I'll not recommend weekend or Friday night because people usually go to happy hour shopping. Okay. Right now, EMCO, maybe most people still stay home. Lah, all right. Uh, uh, still consider to do it, all right? But some of the city actually uh, no more EMCO. So people usually will be going out. So you can consider weekday night or Sunday night, okay? If you want to post something that is educated people or uh, some uh, tutorial video or content that's benefits to the people in social media, you can consider weekday night or Sunday night, all right? Okay, so thanks for all of you for the questions. Okay, Kai Lui. What do I get broke while doing ads? Okay, you need to appeal. Yeah, you need to appeal. All right, wow, so many questions. Huh? Okay, you need to appeal. Huh? So uh, appeal from Facebook, you have to add you are innocent. You have to tell them uh, you are not the, uh, you are not, not uh, how to say, uh, you're, you, you are, uh, you have to add innocent uh, to claim back your account uh, basically. So you have to tell Facebook it's not your wrong. Uh, maybe someone hacked your account, someone used your Facebook and submit the ads. So uh, you request them to check, double check, and then you can get your account. Basically, that's what we suggest you to do. Okay, so uh, later I will answer you, Yang Li and uh, Kai Lui. Wait, nah. I continue. Okay, so number five, branding strategies. Uh, design, okay, that is, can embrace your brand's identity. Okay, let us show you the best sample today. You can see the Charity Learning Festival, right? Their design. Uh, their poster, their font, okay, everything is standardized, okay. This is how we use artwork to embrace the brand identity. So it's very important, okay. So uh, don't always think uh, out of box or maybe uh, you want to try something different, totally different, a uh, hundred uh, percent different from the previous artwork and so on. Uh, don't do so much of uh, this this type of content, okay? You, you need to standardize all your content, okay? To embrace your brand's identity, okay? The keywords in your poster, all right? The background, profile photos, and the color, all right? Just learn from Charity Learning Festival. You can see all their poster, right? Same color at the background. And then uh, the layout arrangement standardized for all the speakers, okay? So the fonts also very good design. 
So that's the way how we embrace the brand's identity. Okay, if you want to do a good social media branding, okay, you have to focus on your CI, which is the corporate identity to allow more people recognize your brand. Okay, so this is the number five brand uh, marketing, okay, in your social media advertising. All right, and number six, you have to utilize these advertising tools. Like Kylie just now mentions, his ads account was broke, right? Okay, so uh, that's the tools he using. Yeah, it's called Facebook Ads Manager. So uh, Facebook Ads Manager is free. All of you also can apply, okay? Uh, but if you're using the beginner type of the advertising account, right? Uh, to be honest, it can't help you to do targeted setting. You will have to upgrade into expert account. This is the expert account, okay? It's called Ads Manager. If you don't know how to create it, you can go to my YouTube or you can go to my website, which is uh, uh, seafoodmarketing.com. Okay, you can go to learn. Uh, I provide a tutorial, it's free. Okay, most of my tutorial is free. You just need to go to my website and learn. All right, seafoodmarketing.com, marketingmalaysia.com. Yeah, coming up, we still got a new uh, new website we're going to build, okay, to allow people access to my resources, to my courses, and they can learn it. So you can upgrade your ad account to expert account. You can learn it from my YouTube also. I got teach it, teach the way how to apply this ads account. All right. So uh, you have to use Ads Manager. Why? Because Ads Manager can let you do the target audience setting. For example, you want to target people who are using Apple uh, iPhone 7. Yes, Ads Manager is allow you to target this group of people. Okay. And other things, if you want to target the people who are birthday in December, yes, you can target the people who are birthday in December. You can design a campaign just for December uh, baby. Okay, that's the things Ads Manager allow you to do the setting. So you have to utilize this big data system to reach out the right target customer. Okay, so let me see some of the questions. Huh? Mm -hmm. When I start my first Facebook ad, is that means I will be hard to reach my message by organic post? Yes, you are right. Mm. All right, Kyrie, what's your recommendation? If tomorrow, oh my God. Uh, you can direct promote it as an event response, but my recommendation is postpone your event, <laughs> okay? Because it not it's not enough time to promote. To be honest, uh, usually you want to promote an event, we will suggest you earlier one and a half months. At least uh, you got time to optimize your advertising campaign. Okay, that's my suggestions. So for Yang Li attraction poster, you can use Canva. Canva is provided you few thousands template for your poster design, canva.com. Okay, you can use Canva to do poster. Okay, for most of you, I would, buy, I would like to tell you actually a uh, poster design is not the key things to convert the customer. If you feel that an uh, attraction poster will be helping you to get more sales, then I believe the best artwork designer in this world is billionaire. Okay, so it's not the right way. Okay, of course you need the, a poster that is good looking, Right, at least the standard are there to uh, make your own branding, okay, atas. Huh? So what you need to do is uh, do a good content, but you manage to do it in a short time and efficient way. Afterwards, you duplicate more content and advertise in the social media. Then you compare in this ads manager, you compare which ads campaign managed to bring you a good return on investment continue the ads campaign. Then the rest, if it doesn't bring you a good ROI, you can stop the advertising. Okay, that's my suggestions, right? While, you, you, while you're doing the ads manager and uh, combine with the content marketing. Okay, so uh, that's all my suggestions for Kai Lui and Yang Li. Okay, very good. So uh, that's the brand awareness objective in Facebook advertising. Okay, after you create your ads manager, so uh, you can using this ads manager to choose one of the campaign objective. This is called brand awareness. So usually for a new brand or a new business or a new products or a new promotions, I will be use brand awareness to reach out many people first. Okay, as many as you can. For your information, for brand awareness, right? If you are doing the uh, content that is, can reach out most people, 100 ringgit averagely, you can target, you can reach about 100,000 people. By just 100 ringgit, okay? But you don't expect this 100 ringgit will be helping you to get many people place order, buy your products, inquiry, message you. No. Okay, it's basically, it's helping you to create a first impressions. 
So when you create the first impressions, that one is the early stage, which is the slides just now I'm showing you. This is the setting. Yeah, this is the setting. Okay, so this brand awareness, what you need to do is you need to do it for this stage. Understood? Okay, which is the early stage. Yeah, early stage. Okay, you need to let people learning your brand. So in Facebook Ads Manager, you can choose brand awareness. Yeah, you can choose brand awareness. So for the media stage, after you do the brand awareness, right? The middle stage you need to do is this one. Yeah. Okay, you need to do is some of this. Okay, maybe ads, lead generations, uh, traffic, or engagement. All right. So by using this, okay, you can uh, improve your engagement with your customer. You will get people like, comment, share, okay, and the people who message you. Depends what is your target, yeah? Depends what is your objective, okay? So after you do the brand awareness, that one is the first stage, okay? On the second stage, you want to get people inquiry and keep in touch with you or contact you, right? So you can do traffic, you can do engagement, you can do lead generations, or you can do message, okay? Another way to optimize it, yeah? Okay, I would suggest you can go this way. For the second ads campaign, you can do engagement first. You do engagement to get people comment, to get people like, to get people share your posting first. Okay, at least there's a number on your advertisement campaign. At least there are a few thousand people or a few hundred people respond to your post. All right, okay. So the third stage, what you need to do is you can consider to let people message you. Okay, you can do the third campaign. Okay, we just let people message you. Okay, the best way to message is ask them to WhatsApp you. You can choose this option message. Afterwards, you can choose WhatsApp business to let people click the post direct WhatsApp business you. Why we need to use WhatsApp business? Because I need to use WhatsApp business. Continue follow up the customer, continue send the information to my customer, befriend with my customer, okay, and upsell my customer. Okay, so that is the flow. Yeah, that is the flow. Yeah, all right. So let me see. Uh, wow, so many questions already. <laughs> okay, all uh, right. How to do it? Uh, sorry, uh, is it A B testing need before place and add? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to compare either compare your content or else you can compare the ad setting. Okay, so uh, you can put budget about 10 ringgit per day for testing. Okay, 10 ringgit per day. So Jimmy, how do I know if someone graduating soon from FB Messenger? Ah, uh, FB Manager. Uh, graduating, I'm not sure. I think what you can target is from the education setting. You can target the people who are studying in primary school or college or university or secondary school. That's the setting you can do, right? So for Yang Li, can I make okay? Can I make my content in short term? To bring traffic, yes, can can actually you can see just now the product campaign, right? Uh, the write up I do for product is just two sentence and manage to reach out six one thousand six people like the post and eight hundred plus people comment the post. It's just within a month the advertisement. So uh, uh, short content is also managed to get a good, yeah, good results. Yeah, all right. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. So uh, thanks for those who uh ask the questions. So if you like my questions. Please help us share and like the page, okay? Share and like the posting, okay? Share this live show. So, of course, uh, welcome all of you to continue. Ask more questions. Don't worry, I can answer you, okay? All right, so that's the ads result. You can do it, yeah? Uh, after you optimize, you can see the lowest cost per click is uh, 0 0.001, okay? Basically, this one is for brand awareness, okay? From brand awareness, actually, you can save up your costing to reach out many people, okay, many people. This one is a 2016 advertisement, lah, okay, to we show you. But how about 2020? Yeah, 2020, you also can do it, 0 0.001, okay, this one is cost per engagement for a travel video in Taiwan, yeah, for a travel video in Taiwan. So uh, if you want to do it, you also can do it. That's the way how we design the whole marketing process, okay? You need to follow, like just now I mentioned, the early stage in the ads manager, you can choose uh, brand awareness. On the second stage, which is the middle stage, what you can choose is you can choose engagement. So on the third stage, you can start doing messenger ads campaign to get people message you, okay, to get people message you in the advertising campaign, okay, in the advertising campaign and your content marketing, all right? So that's my suggestions, okay? So uh, 
keep on optimize until you get a good results. Okay. Although this one is 0 0.01, 0 0.001 cent. Okay. But I want you to understand this one is just lowest cost per click. But if you ask me, why is the, uh, why is the right uh, measurements for your advertising uh, results? Okay. My suggestion is you should not focus on the costing. You should focus on the quality. Okay, the quality. Just like just now I mentioned, the influencer marketing that we do for a property agency, a Sunway project, right? Okay, so it's a thousand, oh, sorry, it's 2,500 ringgit per lead. Okay, 2,500 ringgit per lead. For you, I believe you will be scolding me already. Hey, Alan, why the lead is so expensive? Okay, it's 2,500 ringgit okay, per lead. Okay, but after you manage to close the sales, right? Because it's a very quality lead. So you manage to get a 20,000 commissions. You will be sayang me. Hey, Alan, thanks a lot. Huh? Wow, this leaks super quality. All right. So you don't focus on the costing. Okay. Uh, it's no point for you to keep on reduce the costing. What you need to do is you need to design a marketing process. Okay. To filter and narrow down until you get a good customer or uh, we call it a quality, super quality leads for you to close the business. Okay. So that's my suggestion. Don't focus on uh costing yeah don't focus on costing you should focus on get your quality leads and then convert them into sales okay for example just now right uh the cost per lead is 2005 ringgit ma. but you manage to close the deal 50 percent close into sales you manage to get 20,000. so let's say if you continue to find the uh the influencer doing the ads campaign uh the same i i mean the related industry one uh, so maybe you can set, find the second one, the third one, fourth one. Maybe everyone also bring you one customer. Uh, so basically for the whole campaign, uh, we got four influencers. Let's say it's 20,000 ringgit costing, but you managed to convert into, I see, uh, 80,000 commission. Okay, 80,000 commission. So it's worth. Okay, it's worth. All right. So don't focus on the costing. Yeah? You should focus on the quality list and the sales conversions. Okay, Kylie, how long to get approval from Facebook after I place ads? Basically, it will be take about 30, 30, 30 minutes, 30 to one hour. Okay, if you take very long to get approval, right, which means your content got some sensitive issue and your ads account actually uh, have been blacklisted by Facebook. Yeah, blacklisted by Facebook. Uh, on this case, I will be suggest you you can uh, get one more ads account and then submit the ads and compare and see what is the problem. Okay, uh, usually I will find Gima, uh, my father, my mother, my niece, my nephew, uh, use their Facebook and create an ads account and then I submit the ads and compare the, the performance, compare the results, uh, compare the approval timing. Uh, okay, so that's my suggestion for you. You can find your Yima Kuche to, to create more ads account, okay, and then do the comparisons. All right, okay, so this is the stage okay the third stage is turn strangers into profitable customer yeah okay to turn into profitable customer right when thing when thing why you short huh? okay because when thing last time also helping me to manage a lot of uh as campaign and customers so uh she know that we actually create a lot as as manager account okay we create a lot all right okay so no problem thanks okay so turn strangers into profitable customer Okay, and uh, how we do it? Actually, this one is the last last topic of today already. So if you really like my sharing, remember help me like and share. Okay, so this is the marketing process in the visual visual poster. So how we narrow down into a quality customer? Okay, uh, you need to try your best to reach out many people. Yeah, like uh, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, uh, WeChat, and so on. So you have to get them into a place. Okay, a blog, a website, uh, your Shopee, your Lazada, or maybe your Facebook page is fine. Okay, uh, at least somewhere that they can contact you, they can focus on your content. So afterwards, you need to do some of the contents that are uh, making them contact you. Okay, they give you the contact number, the email, right, and so on. So afterwards, you do the follow up and you convert them into sales. Okay, that's how we narrow down. Okay, this is the basic process of you design a marketing into sales. Yeah, okay, so. This is the strategy I could share with you. This is the last thing I want to share with you. All right. Uh, if I'm doing the ads strategies, okay, this is the basic way I'm doing it. Okay, first, 
I will be do a content, okay? It's not hard sell, but it will be teaching people or showing people about what is the benefits of my products. For example, I'm going to selling a step chair. So I'm selling this step chair. So I will be show a video about the problem versus solutions. Okay, uh, what is the benefits if you uh, buy this step chair? Okay, so I will use brand awareness, the content to reach out people. Okay, so afterwards I will do a promotions, uh, do a product info and the pricing. Okay, I will connect into my WhatsApp business. That's how I get the people after they watch the video. The second stage, they will be messaged me. So after they message me, I will be utilize my WhatsApp business system. Okay, I can do auto reply. I can uh, do catalog. All right, I can send a payment info. I can send a payment gateway link as well. Okay, to close the people in WhatsApp business. Okay, and afterwards, I will be save all these contacts. Okay, I will be save these contacts and then I will be do follow up every month. Yeah, every month. Okay, so what you can follow up, right? Uh, like just now I mentioned, you can ask the customer whether they got find the solutions already or not. Uh, be friend with them, ask them how is the business and so on. So during the festival, you can send them the wishing poster and the message. All right. And the last part, of course, you can do remarketing. Okay, you can do remarketing. You can do remarketing by asking people maybe top up 50 ringgit. Okay, they can get a new products. All right. Or like Medica sales up to 80% off. Okay, like a new year. Okay, you can plan upgrade your homes. Okay, so uh, up to 70% off. Right. So that's the advertising campaign you need to do. Don't always expect the first campaign and then you can convert into this. It's near to impossible. Remember, you are not the only one supply these products in internet. Okay, many people also selling the same products. So what you need to do is you need to create a marketing process to convert them into sales. That's the right way. This is the right strategy you need to do to ensure that you can create a profitable ad campaign. All right. So uh, thanks for your support. All right. And thanks again for our, yeah, for our uh, OC Charity Learning Festival and the DCOM. Okay. So another gift to all of you, uh, Christmas is coming soon. So I, I'm going to give you a gift right now, okay? A yearly Christmas gift for all of you, okay? It's free Google Ads courses for you. You can scan and you can message to my assistant. My assistant, maybe later or tomorrow, they can send you the message already. I think later, because later I got a staff coming in. Basically, my team every day also working. So we got a six days and seven days team, okay? So you can uh, WhatsApp this number, the scan. Okay, and then you can get the free Google Ads course. Okay, it's free, really, it's free. It's a webinar, and I'm going to share with you how to create a Google Ads, how to create 150 ringgit voucher from Google, and you can start advertising in Google. Okay, if you want to become ranking number one in Google, this is the right courses that I can help you. Okay, so just scan and messages. All right, so thank you very much for today's courses. Yeah, Finish. thank you, thank you, thank you, our coach Alan Yo. Wow. We learned a lot, okay? So, basically, the Q&A session, I don't need to purposely do so much already. <laughs> <la. laughs> yeah. Welcome, okay. So, you, let's, uh, let's uh, give one more question from the floor, from Facebook. So, anyone of you, if have the questions, then uh, Alan, you can uh, answer your questions with one, only one. So, yeah, before that, please, uh, uh, just, I believe you all already scanned down the, the QR code. If haven't, right, no mind, just wait for until this uh, whole charity learning festival is finished. Then you can just refer back. Okay. So any, any question from, uh, from the floor? If you don't have, we have to, uh, thanks to our Ellen and we are going to the next speakers. All right. Okay. Thanks everyone. So I think it should be done already. Okay, so goodbye everyone. Take care everyone. Take care. Thank you very much, Alan Yo. So hope to see you again. Uh, hopefully we have the chances uh, on next year that we can do this uh, charity learning festival offline. I believe that impact will be bigger. Okay, and hopefully that uh, Alan Yo will be keep on supporting us and for this charity purpose. Okay, thank you very much and goodbye. Mr. Ellen Yo. Thank you bro. very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you.